Hey, what's up? It's MarketAlchemist.Camp, where usually we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things, but today we're just going to take a quick look at config files. In a normal Phoenix app, or basically in any Elixir mix app, there are a number of configurations that can be set. You can see I have a Phoenix app called Chit Chat. The default config directory has four files in it, config.exs, and then one more config file each for dev, prod, and test environments. In the config file, we've got this use mix.config at the top. That's for macros. So basically that means we've pulled in some functionality from whatever was in mix.config. And you notice this config here, this is not part of the Elixir language. This is something that's been brought in by this line at the top. And same thing with import config. It's fairly straightforward. Each of these config lines is just setting a value to a key. So this first one, we're setting the ecto underscore repos key to be chitchat.repo, actually a list that just contains chitchat.repo and nothing else. And we're setting chitchatweb.endpoint to have several key values here and so on down through the rest. And in order to see how that works in the app itself, we'll open up the terminal and run iex-s mix. And this will let us uh, interact with the application as it's running. All of these are stored in application.getenv. Actually, we'll use get all env. This will get all the environment variables for our mix application. The name of the application is chitchat and let me pull this up so we can see it and you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here now if we had just wanted to get one then we would use application.getenv chit chat and the name of that one environment variable we wanted or that one key i should say and this gets all the values under it and as you can see, you can you can have things that are nested. So watchers here is a list which contains node, which is another list, and so on. And if we can add to these however we see fit, I'll just add one here. Config chit chat animal. And that's going to be set to horse, the string or the binary. Now if we run iex-s mix again and do application.getenv chit chat and animal now you can see it's horse so we could have stored whatever information there we wanted it's probably the best place to put information that you want the entire app to get as long as it's information of some sort of configuration nature now you can see at the bottom, this import config is interpolating whatever mix.env is. And this function will be available if you're running from mix. So in this case, we started up the application with iex-s mix. So we've run mix. We can say mix.env and get dev. However, be very careful about this. One of my friends recently ran into a problem where he was reading a blog post, and, and my goal is not to you know shame anybody or, or anything like that. I think it was just written by someone who was more focused on JavaScript. And it said to add if mix.env is dev, do, to the main application layout file. And the scary thing about this is mix will not be defined when you're running in production if you're using a, an elixir release which is the normal thing to do in production so in other words checking if mix.env equals equals dev and the problem with this is you can't rely on mix being defined in fact in production it generally isn't because you'll use an elixir release and you won't have a mix environment so this block would work fine in development but then once you build a release and deploy it to your server, production would crash because you're looking up a field on something that doesn't exist. So we can't rely on 
on this to get our environment. You also can't necessarily re rely on a system environment variable either. Um, you may have seen in the, the prod.exs, it is system.getenv port. Well, you can also get the environment for uh, your mix as well. You can do system.getenv mix underscore env. Um, this will not be defined here because we didn't set a mix environment and it just defaulted to dev. But if we were, say we were uh, in production or we were in test, we had we had set that beforehand here, mix env equals test and started that way. Now we've got a mix environment, but it wouldn't be there for dev. It would only be there for test or production. And depending on how your system's set up, maybe you just don't have that environment variable defined and you've done it some other way. So probably the safest thing to do if you want to be able to know whether if your app is running in development or production or test is inside of your config.exs, probably the safest way to do that would be just add one config line here. So you could do config name of your app, so chit chat in my case, and we'll call it mix underscore env just so it's super clear where it's coming from, mix.env and restart our server. So now we should be able to see that it's test by doing application.getenv chit chat and mix env. It's test. I'm just going to copy this so we've got it available in a moment. And we'll start it up just as uh, dev. And now we can see it's dev. And if this were a compiled release, we would still have access to it. Unlike mix, which would be undefined, and mix.env, which would crash. That's it for today. Hope you found it useful. And also, I just want to give a quick shout out to my podcasting. I've started making some very short podcasts. You can see like five minutes, 12, nine, and they're all called Alchemist Camp something. So if you search for me on iTunes or whichever story you use, you will find some stuff. I've got three different channels. One is for code and bootstrapping. One is kind of meta topics from other podcasts. And then the other is called Learning Machine, and it's all about learning. Till next time, code on.